No so better way to start off this meal with no. this horrible meal we're having. But we're here. Eating this little struggle meal we got. Pizza. What is this stuff called? Pizza, pizza rolls. rolls. Mm -hmm. It'd be here in this spot though. With Doritos, because Doritos make everything better. Nice. Anyway. I'm tripping. Why are we here, babe? Because I have a baby. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. When I first met my wife, we talked on the phone for the first time. She told me she was done having kids. In fact, I said I didn't want no more kids. And that it was probably not a possibility for you to have any more kids. That too. For a lot of reasons, which is a whole nother video. Mm -hmm. But yes, the odds were stand stacked against this. Right? I didn't want that to stop me from talking to her and pursuing her. I felt like she was special. And I just had like, like a a little rush of faith in that moment of like, you know what, God, you can do anything. You can change your heart. You can make it possible. Anything's possible with you. So four years later, we're here, ready to start the journey. Um, we want to be responsible uh, and not just enter into, you know, having a child lightly. Um, so I think we're ready now. We just had our first official financial appointment. For IVF. For IVF. Cause we, oh, so we're doing IVF. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's be back up and just say we are doing IVF. We right? are doing IVF. Unless God finds it, you know, in his will to just miraculously get me pregnant before I have to even start that process, which is like everybody, you know, we can all pray and be on the same page with that. Um, but if that doesn't work out and that's not the plan God has for us, then we're for sure going to do IVF. And we've had our first financial appointment or our first ever appointment to talk about the financial aspects of it. Right. And we wanted to document literally everything from day one, like not just the hormone shots and whatever that looks like. But like day one, day one was that phone call letting us know financially what we can expect to pay, mm -hmm. what we're looking at, what our insurance covers, which has brings its own anxiety and stress and all that stuff, you know, making sure that we're financially in a place to, you know, make that kind of move. So what'd you think about the call? Pretty straightforward. You Nothing. work in insurance though. So yeah. So already knew. I kind of figured it would be more in detail than what it was, but same. It was very vague and seemed rushed. A lot. And I don't know nothing about insurance because I'm a veteran, and so for me, everything's just covered, and I, so I don't have to worry about like <laughs> co. I know blessing. I don't have to worry about like copays and yeah. renewing my insurance or any of that. I just go Not the case and get at seen. All. And so this is, we're using his insurance, which is Scott and White, to go through this process because the VA is not going to cover IVF for me. Right. So, you know, I'm just kind of dipping my toes in this insurance stuff. And so the interview, the appointment seemed real rushed and very like, yeah, so this is what you're going to pay when this you're going to pay. And then you have to pay this much before you can. And I'm like, what? 7500 for what? Right. And I'm not really like understanding how it all works. But thankfully, my husband is super knowledgeable in that stuff so he kind of helped me out more with understanding it than the lady who called us so, yeah. and if i figured if it was just going to be that level of we discussion we could have skipped it i could have just pulled the benefits ourselves but excuse me it's kind of nice to hear from your insurance company specifically what you can anticipate um ivf process is not that complicated but it can be just because of all the different variables with it and the different procedures that you're involved with. Um, but kudos to my wife that she is past her time frame that she wanted to stop having kids. When we first got married, she was like, yeah, I want to be done with kids by, what time did you say? 32? No, 30. 30 was my first threshold. Oh, yeah. That we got married, got married at 30. At 30 so that wasn't that <laughs> even possible. That was but yeah, she went ahead and, you know... 32 was my next, like, okay, Continue 32. to push it back, and so she just turned 35. She look good, y'all, don't she? Listen, I wanted... I had this dream about having all the kids out the house by 50. 
but dreams change. So, mm -hmm. um, so now we're here, and I don't really understand fully in depth what the whole IVF process is gonna look like. But if I had to put like a goal or like a desire out there into the atmosphere, I definitely would love to be pregnant this year. I don't see a reason why we can't, because I mean, we have a little saying that we're living off of. We actually got merch for it too. We are going to. I mean, this is us. But not, <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Now we're gonna pray like it depends on God, but we're gonna work like it depends on us. So we're believing and trusting God that He'll definitely open up every door, make sure our bodies are lined up to his will and making sure that we're doing the right things, um, making the right decisions, but we're not just going to sit back and not do anything and just expect a miracle to happen. We trust him and believe him that a miracle can happen. In fact, we expect it to happen. Yes. However, if we have to, look. yeah, yeah. However, if it requires us to go through the treatment of IVF, we thank God for the miracle of insurance that's just going to help pay for it. For us having good jobs that we are able to afford insurance, you know? Being in a position where we're in America, where it's readily available, other people don't have those opportunities. So we thank God for that. So we're just excited. We are. Uh, our next appointment. July. Is our, I think, our like new patient appointment where right. we get to meet our doctor mm -hmm. and kind of give them a little bit of our background historically, as far as like medically, which for some of y'all don't know, I've had a lot of medical issues in the past. Is it, has it been two years, babe? About two years. Which is why the pregnancy got delayed, really. It was because of some medical stuff that had to get under control first before we could even consider having kids. And we're June, oh, this year. We actually came to like the mark where we get kind of the clearance to, excuse me. <laughs> I love the dog over here, you see him? He's trying to get my food. Jackson, get down. He wanted me in the mix so bad. Get down. Thank you. Um, so our next appointment is in July, July 20th. We get to meet our doctor and stuff like that and mm -hmm. go over, I guess, his, his, our medical history. Right. I'm not sure what that appointment is going to look like, but that's why we're here recording the journey so we can really give a like real transparent timeline. I know for me, I'm like analytical yeah. and I like to know like from start to finish, how long is this going to take? Like the, what's the longest it could take and what's the shortest it could take if everything works out the way it's supposed to. And so I haven't been able to really find that information. Most of the information I find, they start the time from the day they start like their hormones and stuff and like how long that process takes. But I want to know how it, long it takes from like the moment you make that call to get the whole thing started. So right. the financial appointment, the first appointment, all of those things, getting everything tested to make sure you're good. Like I want to, I want to document all of that stuff, just this whole journey. My first pregnancy wasn't as um exciting um and emotionally i just wasn't there or in a place to really like enjoy it so this time around no matter what happens to get there i want to document it and try to be as excited about it as i can and not worry about the things i can't control and really just make this whole experience memorable so this is day one, day one. of our journey well said, babe. I couldn't say it better. We can't wait to meet you, baby Cadence or baby Kinsley. <laughs> it's going to be Cadence. It's going to be a boy, y'all. It's going to be a boy. <laughs> he obviously wants a boy. Everybody knows what IVF, you, you potentially could have twinsies. Yeah, so we're, we're preparing for all of that. Yeah, we have um, both names already. We're just going to be um, the very best parents that we can possibly be. We believe we have a lot of love to offer a child. Um, I'm proud of you. I couldn't imagine doing this training with somebody else. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to enjoy the rest of our pizza rolls. <laughs> All right. Till next time, guys. Love you.